Hello again. Welcome to this lesson where you will get some practical insights on how to actively work with hyperspectral data in a soil context yourself. Let's do some hands-on training. I'm sure you're all curious to learn how to apply the knowledge you've gained thus far. To do so, we will once more use the free and open source Nmap box, a plugin for QGIS that was built within the Nmap project. Within the Nmap box, we will be using Nsomap 2.0. That was actually designed by your instructors, the colleagues of the Soil Working Group at GFZ Potsdam. With the Nsomap, you can very easily calculate a number of absorption features and narrow band indices to derive semi-quantitative maps of several soil parameters. I'll show you how to do that for clay and iron content in a beautiful Spanish national park. If, like we do, you have some reference data, Ensomap can even be used to calculate and subsequently validate quantitative maps. Well, I said in the previous lesson that methodologically, the two big topics are feature analyses and chemometrics. We have spared no effort and thus, I'll also show you how to derive another soil property, soil organic carbon, using a different method, namely partial least squares and random forest regressions in an agricultural area in northern Germany. Again, using our versatile Nmap box. Come on!